Hello guys, this is me, Izzy, and uh, I'm here to read you the story, Love More Than You Hate. So, uh, this is my first time being on this channel, actually. And, uh, I'm, I'm a female, so, yay! Uh, so, um, on this channel, I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, main six voices. And, uh, just to prove that I'm alive and not for you people to be wondering, did the guys improve on their female voices, um, I'm just going to read you a little story about, uh, vinyl scratch hating school. Now, I'm on winter break filming this, so, uh, I have to go back to school and I want to choose a comedy for you guys. And one of my favorite characters, other than Rainbow Dash, is Vinyl Scratch. So, I chose Vinyl Scratch, and I chose a comedy, and this is my first story I ever did. So, hope you enjoy! Vinyl let out a heavy sigh as she slowly walked onto the school's grounds. School. God, she hated the place with a burning passion. She was a frickin' DJ and the famous one at that. She was loved the world over for her amazing beats that poured through the speakers she used. She looked around at the rows upon rows of lockers that lined the walls. Students were reaching into them, laughing and conversing with one another. Some stopped when they realized just who was walking through their halls. Their whispers of shock and awe put the tiniest of smiles on her face. She shook her head and got back into her, her focused deposition. The alabaster DJ pinched the bridge of her nose with rising irritation. The students were loud, louder than her insane fans when they were at her concerts. One of them bumped into her. The pony apologized before scrambling off to wherever he needed to go. Vina lightly shook her head and continued on with her little trek. She rounded a corner that led down on of the many halls throughout the school. There were now doors that led to various rooms on each side of her. Behind her violet-colored lenses, Vinyl's eyes scanned the place cards on the doors. Janitor, gym, marriage restroom, stallion's restrooms, principal's office. <sighs> principal's office! Vinyl cringed. Hard. She already hated school, but the hate she had for the principal's office was on a completely different level. Every time she had ended up here, it was never for a good reason. After school detention, failing academic intervention, in school suspension, out of school suspension, if it was anything that ended with chin or sin, she got it. Luckily, she wasn't hanging there for today. However, this still didn't deter her feelings. She hated school. Perhaps it was all the stupid cults. No matter how old they got, they always acted like immature fools. Or maybe it was the mares that spread drama like wildfire. She eyeballed a clique that was chattering, giggling, and pointing at a pony that looked, to say the least, quite an oddball. She rolled her eyes. Typical. She peeked through one of the door's windows and looked inside. Chaotic and loud. Again, she loved those kinds of things when she was, say... Tearing up the turntables at a dance club, or she was doing the reverse role and tearing up the dance floor with her mad dancing skills. But here? Not so much. Not for this environment. She tried away from the glass and carried on. She walked for another five minutes before she froze in mid-step. What the hell? She had ended up staring at the doors that led to the gym. Again! Was she going in circles? Was that even physically possible? The school looked rectangle on the outside. She rubbed her temples, then started a quick pace. She had to get out of here, or at least find a way out of this strange loophole of the hallway. Maybe she should just ask for help. I bet you won't last thirty minutes there! Her ears folded against her head as Octavia's insulting statement echoed in her ears. She couldn't and wouldn't allow herself to prove that prissy earth pony wife of hers right. 
She was going to make her way out of this little ordeal with ease. She took a few calming breaths and looked around. There had to be a way out of this confusion, and she was going to find it, or her name wasn't Vinyl Scratch. With newfound determination, she continued her trout through the hallway. She passed the same restrooms and the <sighs> principal's office. She came to another break in the hallway that led to three different directions. She looked down each hallway, each were lined wall to wall with those same dark blue lockers, and each of the hallways looked as if it would go on forever. Seriously? The school isn't even that damn big on the outside. After she finished grumbling, she chose to go straight this time. Now, there shouldn't be any way that she'd end up at the gym and dreaded principal's office again. This place was defying physics in a way that would put her friend Pinky to shame. She smiled a little at the thought as she walked past the music room. She stopped and backpedaled, stopping once she could see inside the room. A Pegasus student was gracefully playing a guitar, his hooves dancing across the strings as he and his instrument became one. She couldn't help but smile. The kid had skills. She continued on. She loved the music room for it was a place where she and Tavi could be true to themselves. No pony knew that Vinyl was actually quite the Beethoven when it came to piano except for her wife, and she intended to keep it that way. Still, as much as she liked to see some pony play out their deepest desires and passion on their instrument, it still could not match the hatred she had for this place. She looked around, and she saw something that made her eyes sparkle behind her shades. A door that had trees in a blue sky on the other side of its tiny window. A door that led back outside. She smiled and made a mad gallop for it. She burst through the doors and took in a big whiff of the fresh air. She was glad to be out of that physics-defying place that was called an educational institution. She enjoyed the victory of her survival, but it didn't last long when she came to her horrifying realization. She'd have to go back inside. Her ears drooped and her head dropped as she slowly made her way back towards the doors. She dreaded going back in, but she had a point to prove to Tavi, and she was still not going to back down. Just as she pushed the door open to make her way in, an orange pegasus filly slammed into her other foreleg. The filly hit the ground with a little thud and rubbed her head. Oh, she mumbled as she looked up to see who or what she had collided into. Her lavender irises lit up as Vinyl smiled down at her. Mom! She hovered in the air and wrapped her forelegs around the unicorn's neck. <laughs> hey, Skulu, I've been looking all over the place for you. Skulu rubbed the back of her neck. Yeah, well, I got a little distracted. That's why it wasn't up front when the bell rang. Sorry, Mom. Vinyl patted the filly's head. It's all good, girl. So, are you staying here tonight? When's your next big gig? I have a couple of shows up in Camelot next week. But other than that, I'll be here through this weekend. All the way to Friday morning. Skulu leaped into the air. Yes! I miss you, like, a lot. I mean, Mother's really sweet and all, but she's really kind of strict. Tavi just wants you to get good grades in school, that's all, Vinyl replied. It's what we both want. Yeah, but still, you're the cool mom. The alabaster unicorn chuckled. <laughs> Be glad Tavi didn't hear you say that, or she'd have both of our heads. She looked down at the filling trine beside her. So, tell me, how's school been treating you? Give me the details. Skulu took a big gulp of air and immediately flew into a flurry of stories to tell her. Vinyl grinned as she listened to her adopted daughter's exciting rambling. She may have hated school with a burning passion, but her love of being the mother of this wonderful little filly was far more powerful than her hate. Hey, you reached the ending! Okay, so... Uh, if you enjoyed my reading, comment below. Please subscribe to these wonderful people. They're awesome. And, uh, if you 
want to see more of me, check out my channel Monty Movies. Uh, I voice act in many things. I live act in lots of things. And yeah, if you guys are familiar with some franchises, I've voiced some major characters. One of them being Tails. Yeah. Anyways, check out my channel and definitely subscribe to these people. They're amazing. They're fabulous. And I should shut up now. So, yeah, this is Izzy. And, yeah, I'm out here.